Okay guys, we're gonna do a fun little quick test today on if these cheap capacitors work. Now these, I'm sure, are probably all made by the same place, but they're basically the same thing. This is a five farad power acoustic cap, and we're gonna see if it does anything. Now I have this set up to where this amp is only gonna put out about 800 watts um, to give it a fair shot. So we're gonna have all the gauges set up, so we're gonna be able to see the output power and the voltage drop. So first test we're going to do without the cap. So no cap and then we're going to see how much the voltage drops and then we'll do the same tests with the cap hooked up and we'll do a constant sine wave test that keeps the load constant for a few seconds and then we'll also do a dynamic burst test where it hits. So we'll give the cap a shot to see if it does anything in either of those scenarios. So let's get it hooked up and we'll see what happens. Also note, I have it set up to simulate like a regular sedan. I have custom power supplies so they're set up to only put out about 150 amps and we have 112 volt automotive battery hooked up. So this is going to simulate just a regular car with not with no high output alternator. Um, just kind of a regular regular setup. So we'll see what happens. Okay hey guys, so let's go ahead and do the first test. This is with no capacitor, constant sine wave. So we're not going to change anything during these tests. We're just going to add, do them without the cap and then with the cap. So we're watching what the voltage drops to basically. So without the cap, the voltage dropped to 13.56 on a constant sine wave. Okay, so now we got the cap connected. Let's do that test again. It's changing nothing, just adding the cap. So we'll see if the voltage stays any higher. Exact same load, exact same settings. All right, so voltage dropped to 13.03 with the cap installed, all settings the same. Now let's give it a shot and see, because I know caps don't hold energy that long. They're not like a battery. They just hold power for a split second before they release it. So let's do um, a test for dynamic burst, which is short hits <clears throat> of bass. And we'll see maybe it works better in that situation. But so far you can see it's actually better with no cap. We got a little more power, but our voltage was at 13.56. With the cap, the voltage dropped to 13.03. And no settings were touched on anything, just simply doing the test with no cap and adding the cap. Very strange. Okay, so dynamic test where it's not a constant sine wave. It's hitting like bass notes would more naturally. And we'll see if it does anything with that. So this is without a capacitor. No capacitor installed. So let's keep an eye on the voltage, how low it goes. Okay, so without the cap, the voltage dropped to 14.34. Now let's try it with the cap and see if it gets any better than that. Maybe with dynamic burst, it'll actually hold some juice to help out that voltage drop. Okay, here we go. Dynamic burst with the cap installed. Okay, so as you can see, again, strangely, it actually did better with no cap. And this, these last two tests, dynamic, I had to bump it up. You can see the power now is at 1145. It Voltage wasn't even dropping enough by trying to do RMS at 800 watts, so I had to bump it up. But we'll do another test with the voltage even lower after this. So strange, again, 
with no cap we held 14.34 volts and with the cap it dropped to 14.15 and I'm wondering if it's because the electricity is having to charge the cap when it drops so it's actually lowering the voltage instead of doing what it's supposed to and holding the voltage it's just very strange I'm not sure okay so let's try this let's try to lower that amp output to around four or five hundred watts lower the voltage down a little bit so we can try to give this capacitor a chance to do something so I lowered the power output of the amp down lowered the voltage a little bit um, and let's now let's try a dynamic burst test with no capacitor first and we'll see what the voltage drops to okay so see right here we're only putting out 472 watts so that's not a lot of power and voltage dropped to 13.81 with no capacitor so now let's try this again with the cap installed okay so we got the capacitor hooked up let's try it again If it doesn't do something on this then I'd say it's pretty much useless because this is only about 450 watts okay so <clears throat> there you can see didn't do anything actually looks like it did a little worse so there you go I'm going to go ahead and put up the results right now. Let's check them out. So here we go again. I'm starting to see a pattern. This is on the lower output dynamic burst test. And you can see the output was the same. But we actually held 13.81 volts with no capacitor. And when we added the capacitor and did the same test, it dropped to 13.72. So this is really crazy. Uh, from this test it looks like they do more harm than good and this is a 5 farad cap so 472 watts I don't, I don't think is pushing it to the limit uh, I don't know maybe it, maybe the capacitor would work if you had a 100 watt amp but at that I don't even see the point because it's not even drawing enough current to really bog your electrical system in your car down Wow, crazy video. That was a fun one. Really an eye-opener. Now here's the moral of the story. 